With all the successes the company's had, I've never looked forward to a meeting more than this one. There are medical geneticists, there are physicians, there are pathologists, there are professors, there are business people, there are informaticians. I, I really do believe we're making history. Illumina's mission is to improve human health by unlocking the power of the genome. You're going to get uh, iPads tomorrow, and you're going to see an application that looks like this. Uh, we're very, very excited to, to show this to you. I think many of you have already seen your clinical reports, and you're now going to be able to hold your genome in your hand uh, when you get the iPads tomorrow. And that basically is about the ability to change our practice of medicine that's population-based today uh, to one that is truly uh, individual-centric. We have that capability. We didn't have the tools. Um, just a few years ago, but they're emerging very quickly. I, like many of you, get to go to a lot of different conferences during the course of the year, and this is certainly, without a doubt, the most exciting one of my career. The talk we just heard was absolutely phenomenal, and if that really didn't get you thinking and get you excited, then maybe we need to resequence your genome uh, and look for some of those unknown variants. But what really, really excites me is that we now have the capabilities of doing this type of testing in your routine clinical hospital laboratory. Those of you who know me um, and the two clinical areas of research I do, one is hearing loss, the other is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. And so I was, I was uh, intrigued when I got my genome report and my, my one clinically significant variant was in a gene for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. <laughs> I thought, what are the odds of that? And as you might imagine, there were you know, nanoseconds before I logged into my database and said, what is known about this variant? You know, I've been... Uh a director at the Mayo Clinic for just about eight years now and we recognize how absolutely transformational next generation sequencing will be to the clinical practice. You know, this is akin to landing on the moon and we're going to actually transform medical care with this, with this discovery. Your genomes have value to my kids. There's 1,000 problems with this, there's 1,000 reasons why this isn't ready for clinical prime time today. But there's one reason why we keep pushing in this. Nick celebrated his seventh birthday last year, his eighth birthday is coming up, okay? Last year at age seven was the first time Nick ever went trick-or-treating in his life. That's why we're here. That's why Illumina has done something really good here, because we're pushing the envelope one step further. How do we deal with wellness? We may be hopefully one of the groups that's developing a new niche in terms of clinical effectiveness research in using genomics. The whole genome can be used in clinical practice is now also as significant a challenge to the implicit norms of medicine as it is to, to, uh, to, to the field of genetics. It's our firm belief that when people have their genome in their hands, like you, become a more powerful advocate, a more powerful key opinion leader as you talk about the future of clinical genomics. found about 100,000 or more most recent common ancestors. So people are making huge discoveries and figuring out not only that they're related, but how they're related. The other great thing about the, um, the cloud is the data is not siloed. So all data ends up in one place. And its data is secured in that place. But when people choose to, that data can be almost trivially shared because the data is residing in a single place. So I started doing this kind of work in a clinical genetics setting where I looked at a Tay-Sachs gene and got a single answer around one gene. As we go to genomics, that scale becomes completely different. As a genetic counselor, we're always searching for new ways to educate our patients and new ways to communicate information, and I think this is really a great start for that. And the goals of the app are really to help people explore their genome, to help people learn about their conditions or their variants in their genome, and to share that information. You know, again, we learned yesterday that P53 
people who are getting genome testing, 23andMe data, things like that, have a strong intent to share with friends and family and have a strong intent to share with their PCP. And we really wanted to facilitate that process. You know, our hope is that when we look back on this meeting five years from now, that we'll think about it as a sort of a seminal uh, milestone meeting that really began to kick off in earnest this drive toward uh, getting sequencing into the clinic and, and improving human health.